Here's the kit parts that I just received in the mail. Uh, I won't be using anything that's in this circle here, including that big O-ring. That's for a different uh, model, I guess. Mine doesn't have that O-ring. I got the sweet purple diaphragm thing instead of the black one like I had before. So I'm going to go ahead and rebuild it now. I'm going to start my rebuild now. What I'm going to do is just any part that I'm going to replace, I'm going to take it out right now. So I'm going to start with this one. So I need to rebuild this like this. So it needs that little silver washer and that post. So I've, well, grab a post and I grab a silver washer. Silver washer over that. Screw this in. I'm pushing my finger on the back side to make that go down. Screwed it in real tight. That's that. Remove this one now. Moving around. I'm going to swap this out with this. And this is, uh, I guess, had a lot of pressure on it over the years. It's warped. So here's the new one that's not warped. I'm going to swap. I got a little piece of metal in there also swap those out and la well I got this other diaphragm go ahead and swap it out and that is it for swaps now I was told to uh, lubricate these parts just so I don't have any parts going on uh, dry I mean it's gonna have oil and fuel running through it anyway so I figure that's pretty good lubricate lubrication but first off I want to make sure it's Lubricated. Just gonna put some on here. I'm sure there's some special lubricant I'm supposed to use, but. When was the last time I did something I was supposed to do? I'm just rolling it around watching it along the crack inside there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and rebuild it now. I'm going to start by putting this purple guy, whatever he is, diaphragm thing, in its spot. I'm going to then put springs in place and try oh there's also a little black o-ring right here I didn't get a new one in my kit I don't know if maybe this o-ring was supposed to be that o-ring but maybe they for some reason gave you this one in error over the time and nobody complained about it because people had more fun saying oh I don't know why they give you that rather than finding out why or where the, the good one is who knows but anyhow go ahead and match this guy up and I've got my head down low so I can see that the, the nipple is going around the spring the little tiny spring so they matched up now I'm just gonna smash them down get a couple screws in there to hold it in place I'm not gonna tighten it all the way until I got all the screws I'm just gonna get it to where it'll hold it all right, so it's being held. Now, remembering how all this stuff goes back together. If I remember right, this has to come through here like that. And this matched up on there. And this was over top of it. Uh, and then I got to match this screw hole up with a little the screw on the bottom of the piston. I guess it's pretty easy if you just put the diaphragm in its spot first and then just start screwing it in. But remember, when you undid it, if you saw the other video, 
If you just flip it upside down, you can use gravity to pull this down into where the the nut, the hex nut there goes in its slot on the piece of plastic here. Then you can use the plastic to turn it and tighten it. So I'm tightening it. Oops. Alright, it's in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and match. Let me get that screw out of the way so that can gather. Go ahead and match these guys up. See the little piston goes in the little hole. Match them up. So I got that one screw in by all the wires. I'm going to go ahead and screw it in. Started anyway. Oops. I'm going to get too tight on it right now. A couple of weeks ago I removed the VRO pumping system by disconnecting the oil cable, capping it off and taking the two plugs out of the electrical plugs out of the VRO pump or disconnecting them. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect it because I'd rather just be able to pour oil in the oil tank rather than have to pre-mix it with the fuel. And if I need in the future it'll be very easy to just disconnect it again. VRO pump back together after rebuild, using the rebuild kit. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it on the boat. I'm not going to make a video of that because that's really simple. It's just taking three screws out like that. There's one in there, one in there, and one in there. So I'm, and then you got to hook in two oil lines and plug this thing back in. Um, you see this is cut off. I'm going to go ahead. I got a uh, like a coupler. I'm going to put this, hook this back together. My oil line coming in, this is the fuel line coming in, this is the fuel line going out I guess. Um, but anyway, I'm going to hook my oil back up and plug in the other two plugs that I um, uh, disconnected. One was the, for the alarm and one was I guess maybe this one. But anyway, get these plugged back in and hopefully this VRO system works again and I guess my boat will at least pump fuel. Hope that helped out if anybody needed assistance. and seeing how easy it was to rebuild your fuel pump, your VRO fuel pump.